Hi there, I'm Pastor John, and I'm thrilled that you've decided that you wanna take a look at hosting one of these B40X groups. Hosting a small group is a really rewarding experience, and it's not that difficult. I'm gonna walk you through that. First, invite lots of people. Uh, the more people you invite, the better, and you can invite people you know, people you don't know, but yeah, it's great to invite people who you already know and can connect with. The family of God is just that, a family, and we want this to be as much as a rewarding time for you as for everyone else. After you've invited someone out the night of, prepare a good setting for warm and casual conversation. Now you could have this in your garage or in your tool shed, uh, but probably the best environment would be in your living room, maybe around a fire pit, some place where people can really relax and be themselves. We wanna create an environment that encourages warm and authentic discussion. Third thing you can do is put on a pot of coffee, maybe boil some water from tea, provide some cookies, light snacks. Food is always a good idea. Now, you don't have to prepare some monster feast, uh, though if you are inviting me and you do prepare a monster feast, you know, I'm not gonna put you down for that. But all you have to do is have a plate of cookies or something like that. Something just to sort of be a good host. The next thing to do is warmly greet people as they come into your home and make sure you introduce people to each other so they can slowly start to feel a little bit more at ease with one another. To start things off, you might have people introduce each other and maybe even share something about themselves. One of the things that I've done, uh, and this is a little bit odd and you don't have to do it, but have everybody share one embarrassing thing uh, about themselves or one embarrassing thing that happened. Now, if you're gonna do something like that, make sure you're the one who goes first because as the host, you're the one who's actually gonna be setting the tone. But yeah, get people talking, get people enjoying each other's company. Then, and I assume because you're watching this video, you found our b40x.com website, but just go to our website and follow the videos there and the videos will take care of everything for you. Now, it'd be a good idea to maybe watch it ahead of time so you kind of get the feel of it. But yeah, just set it up on a computer. If you have an HDMI cord, connect your computer to a, a TV, whatever works best for you. Uh, just make sure that the volume is high enough and that everybody can see it. Uh, during the discussion, actively encourage people to answer the questions. Uh, ultimately, your job is to encourage other people to talk. Uh, now, you can share your own opinion too, but try to have others share first before you throw your two cents in. Uh, that can be a, a good idea. Now, it's not a concrete rule, but that's a good way to help generate discussion. Sometimes you might be, if someone's a little bit quieter uh, and maybe a little more hesitant to talk, you can ask them what their thoughts are uh, so that they feel involved and they can participate. And then lastly, once you're done everything and you're, you're finished the group, Encourage casual conversation and bring out that plate of cookies again and encourage people to hang out. I trust that you are gonna have a fantastic time doing this and this is gonna be a rewarding experience where you're gonna build new friends and you're gonna see with your own eyes some real dynamic spiritual growth happen right there in your living room. Thanks for helping out.